is uh, I need it. I need a drink. <laughs> I need a drink for this one. <sighs> now, shall we begin? Help me to understand what the is going on right here. What? After 400 years of blood, sweat, and tears, after Rosewood, after Black Wall Street, you know the Gap Band, they used to sing a song when I was growing up, they used to be, everybody used to party to the song, but I never realized until I got older when they were singing, you dropped a bomb on me, baby. I thought they was talking about a woman dropping a bomb on them in the bedroom. No. When they said you dropped the bomb on me, they was really talking to the American government and how they dropped the bomb on Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. And I'm like, okay, moving up to today, I just, I have to ask, In every black city, state, town, we have become a pandemic within the pandemic. Bodies is dropping everywhere. And these Negroes are celebrating a basketball court. Please explain to me how we became some cat in the hat, niggas. See, spot, run. Run, stop, don't. Don't stop, we. How did we become some cat in the hat, niggas? Right. Because we got caught up on sports in the music industry. So after the head of Black Lives Matter retires, after buying $3.2 million worth of houses and other members of the Black Lives Matter leaders lashing out because they didn't get the bag. They didn't get the Cadillac deals, the Cadillac commercials. They didn't get the Grammys. Some people that was out there on the front line, they didn't get, they didn't get the book deals. And others... Mansions, islands, houses on islands. But to satisfy the people, the community, they give us a mural, a face. No disrespect for this sister, but I have to be real. I wouldn't be me. You paint the face of Breonna Taylor on a basketball court. What does that do for us as a people? All right, you two. Let me break this down for you. First of all, he's drunk. That's probably why. That's probably not why, but. He's talking stupid. He's acting like Black Lives Matter came out and said, we are going to do something for the black community today. We're going to make some changes and we're going to do something that's going to make our lives better. 
We're gonna paint Breonna Taylor on the basketball court. They never said that, Hassan, you buffoon. They never said that. A person gets memorialized when they die. Tragically, on the battlefield, when they do things in sports, or they do things for the community, or, or in Breonna Taylor's case, when they killed unjustifiably. So what the basketball court does is anytime someone goes to that park in her community, they will remember her name because they're playing on Breonna Taylor basketball court. It's not supposed to do nothing for black people. It's not supposed to do nothing for anyone. It is just a gesture to her family and to the world that says, Brianna, we want to remember you. What happened to you was messed up. And so we're going to dedicate this park to you. That's all it's for. It's not supposed to do anything for the community. But this dumbass thinks painting a basketball court her mural on a basketball court is wrong. It's stupid. He makes no sense. So when someone dies and when Kobe Bryant dies and someone paints a mural, that's stupid. No one should do that. He shouldn't be remembered. Breonna Taylor shouldn't be remembered. We should just forget that the police kicked her door in for no reason, it was the wrong house. They shot her in the stomach seven, eight times. Um, they charged her boyfriend with attempted murder for defending their home and no one went to jail and she's dead and we should just forget it. It's a way to remember her. And Hassan sees something wrong with that. The reason he does is because he hates black people and he disguises his hatred for black people by saying, the people that are for black people are crooks. And any chance he get, he says, Black Lives Matter, Tamika Maori, my son. The son is a hater. And those of you that are fans, you just miserable people when you come to his channel to get that hate. So as you continue watching this video, pay attention. Understand what this man is doing. And if you understand what he's doing, then you understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's unbelievable that he is saying what he's saying. It's just a basketball court renovated, painted, and dedicated to her memory in her community. There's nothing wrong with that but he's sitting up drunk, hating. Let's get back into the video. For one, for two, for those of us that's in the street, that knows her family background, I'm gonna say allegedly. So you paint the picture of a mural and, and reward, first of all, you reward, and, uh, and I understand, whatever they gave her family, I don't have a quarrel with, with that because the police don't have a right to just kick in people's doors and do whatever they wanna do. But at the same time, what kind of message are we sending in the streets when we know the real deal behind Breonna Taylor's hurt her man, allegedly? Now, you see what he's saying? And watch what he's about to say. But this is the same dude that comes on camera and says, I was raised by legends. Legends in this game. B.O. All, all these people he says he was raised by, these legends. They was nothing but thugs, hoodlums, murderers, and criminals. But he calls them legends. He bigs them up. He salutes them. But then he turns around and comes on here and smears the name. 
calls her a drug dealer. She's never been arrested for drugs. The police kicked her door in and admitted they had the wrong address. But to spin the narrative to fit what he's saying, he's going to call her a drug dealer and say that she doesn't deserve a mural. She doesn't deserve it. I understand and all that, but you know, when someone gets ready to disrespect you, they say, no disrespect, but, and then they go on to disrespect you. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Watch. Drug dealers, right? Bodies found in rental car, all types of stuff, allegedly. Found, like, I'm not even getting into that. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to even go into that. What kind of message are we sending to our children to say that we just going to sit up there and accept the fact that the only thing that we can do as black people is play. We already had basketball courts, so now we supposed to feel blessed because you put her face on a basketball? What the? Please explain to me, what does that do for us as a people? Please. I'm not, I'm, and I believe me, I'm being nice. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, where are we going with this? We got children that's dropping like flies, that's not being celebrated, right? And this is my quabble, one of my quabbles. This tri children, by the hundreds, all this year, last year, dropping by flies because of this black pandemic. going on in the hood. We are the pandemic to each other. And we not dealing with that, but we said we y'all coming together. And then they send this old s -s 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 Sambo ass Negro in there. S -s 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 Sambo. They send him out there shooting basketball, shooting basketballs in a The image of These poverty pimps have been destroyed already, and they realize it. Now they're on their last leg, running with the spoils of war. But the broke one, yeah, I, I gotta get, he, he gotta go back out there, hustle a little bit more. Because that penthouse money gonna run out real quick, and he, 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 to go get a job is just, So the answer, for, the answer for us is to paint her, her, her face. A woman. No disrespect, because I got drug dealer friends that's in a, in, in a pen right now, trying to get home. I love them. We celebrating a chick that was selling drugs. So we put her, her face on a, all I'm asking is, how is, her face on a basketball court going to help us as a community. Do you realize, for me, you just insulted my intelligence as a black man? And if your intelligence as a black man is not insulted, then you just something wrong with your IQ? EQ, IQ, <laughs> see monkey, do, do monkey, stop, it. cat in the hat. They just called you a cat in the hat negro, you dumb. Just keep in mind, nevertheless, regardless of what, that black sister, she got laid out, her man hit at the police, they hit back, I ain't taking no sides on that. But what I am saying is, is that we got thousands of us being laid out in these streets and ain't nobody saying nothing and on top of that. In the Constitution, we still three-fifths of a man.
They just passed the law to protect the Chinese from black America. And they gave you a picture of a dead drug dealer's fiance on a basketball court. <laughs>